Hello everyone. Uh, uh, this is Hari Krishna, and uh, I am with Arjun. Uh, uh, this is uh, part of one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, coaching lesson, uh, uh, part of Coaches.com, and uh, part of Champions Chess Tour. So um, today we are going to discuss uh, three games which uh, Arjun uh, sent uh, sent, uh, and uh, we are going to see how how uh, he thought during the games and where he could improve. And uh, last time when we had the session, uh, he sent me some crazy tactics with queen sacrifice and, you know, it was uh, quite complicated. And uh, today it's, uh, it's going to be pretty, uh, I would say end game, more end game this time. Yeah. No, really. yeah? Okay. So, yeah, so I, uh, I would say uh, if Arjun want to say a few words before we start the session uh, and uh, welcome everyone joining us and uh, yeah, Arjun. Yeah, hi everyone. And I'm glad to be here once again. Okay, nice, nice. So we are, uh, I'm, I'm happy to see the games uh, which you sent, uh, sent to me and uh, they are really interesting. Uh, I, I, I want to ask one question. You sent all the games which you drew, not the ones which you won. <laughs> Why um, is that? Okay, okay. But they are uh, super interesting. And uh, let's start with uh, the first game. And uh, this is between uh, Arjun against uh, Abhimanyu uh, Puranik, very strong player. Uh, and um, so... You generally start with knight f3, right? Sometimes, like last, uh, last, uh, last that, session, I, uh, we saw also yeah, a game. That game I started with 1c4. 1c4 you started, okay. So I will quickly uh, go through some of the opening part because uh, um, so we have a Grunfeld uh, system. Um, uh, you play various structures probably against the Grunfeld because it's very difficult to find a very good uh, advantage against it. So it's not that easy. I understand myself uh, I'm playing against the Grunfeld defense. Uh, so you went for the, um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't call it a solid, but uh, quite, uh, you know, a, a stable um, plus for uh, white. Uh, and after Rook C1, so I would consider here um, to be the main uh, point, like, Rook d8 is one possibility. Uh, so let me make some of these moves. So rook d8 is a move. Uh, bishop g4. And uh, knight c6 is also uh, an option. And apart from that, c takes d4. But your opponent went knight d7, which, which is also played uh, in many games. Um, so were you expecting this, or you just prepared uh, um, for everything? Mm -hmm. I think I just prepare for everything, not particular. Okay. Not particular. Okay. So the idea is to get knight f6 and uh, try to make white to push uh, e5. Um, yeah. yeah. And then knight d5 kind of things. Yeah. So uh, therefore you went d5 and uh, rook d8. Now the idea is to get knight to f6 or at some point even knight e5 maybe. Uh, so c4. Um, in the last last session, you sacrificed a queen. So didn't you get the chance to sacrifice in this game, or uh, you thought of playing something uh, solid and uh, or yeah, you just felt something solid. Solid. Okay. So uh, queen takes d2 and uh, king d2. Um, could could uh, can you take with the knight here or uh, you just? I just felt king takes is a bit better okay so what i was thinking is like if you can play knight d2 uh, probably uh, black will play something like b6 in order to move the knight from d7 and uh, if you just play bishop e2 uh, i don't know if bishop b7 or yeah bishop b7 probably and just castle so i thought this could be something for white or it's uh, it's 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 okay for um black because i i think uh, you have much better structure here mm. and um, i mean this bishop on b7 i don't like it at all so yeah. 
this is maybe possible of course king d2 there is nothing wrong <laughs> it, it's uh, uh, in many many of the structures king even goes to uh, c2 and b1 it's not of course not in this particular position so b6 and uh, now bishop d3 uh, this is pretty much standard to uh, have the king on e2 to uh, remove uh, from this uh, pin so e6 of course you are um, you are not going to take uh, take the pawn and give this nice file for the black so rook hd1 uh, bishop a6 and if uh, black takes on d5 uh, with which pawn were you planning to take because later in the game uh, your opponent went bishop c8 and came uh, played bishop g4 so uh, i think i wanted cd5 cd5 because bishop is not on a6 uh, and after c takes uh, d5, uh, let's uh, play some moves just to, you know, uh, knight f6. Um, because my point is, he, uh, I want to play rook e8 and I take the pawn on uh, e4. So. so I can do something like rook e1 or rook start with bishop g5. Bishop g5, okay. And... Uh, Okay, knight d5 will surely not work. So let's let's play rook to e8, and then you of course will play rook e1, and uh, probably h3, and slowly improve uh, your position here. And uh, this and bishop. Then king, king c2 and knight d2. Yeah, yeah. Then king c2. Yeah, exactly. So king c2, king b1 could be nice here. Um, so that's why I guess your opponent went bishop a6 as after e takes d5, c takes d5 maybe he will take on uh, d3 and push f5 or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so a4, uh, is there any other move possible here instead of a4? Uh, what happens if you just play king e2 here or just king f1 and king king g1? Uh, because I, I think he's not planning to take on d5 really here. Because I guess just take e takes d5. And since the bishop is already on a6 and uh, he can't really bring it to g4, maybe it's possible to play king e2 uh, to bring the king to f1. Of course, anyway, a4 is uh, a4 now or uh, later, uh, white has to play in order to play a5 and break uh, black's queen side. So just wondering if king e2 is possible or not. Um, and knight f6. And that's a bit strange, strange thing. Uh, because after knight f6, uh, uh, white's position is just very good, right? Um, I don't see. Could he play f5 here? Uh, my point is, no, maybe just d takes is, no. Oh, d6? D, D takes E6 and um, uh, if I take on E4, Bishop then there is E7. E7, right? And uh, um, that's not enough sufficient compensation. Yeah, of course, after E takes D3, E takes D8 Queen. Uh, rook takes d8 and white can simply take king d3. Um, there is, I mean, you have 95 check, but uh, uh, white is probably uh, winning pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, so e7 is the move. And uh, after this, uh, white is uh, doing well. So instead of f takes e4, um, could you play something like... Uh, 90, no, 95 just take, yeah. Knight Actually, 95 takes fe 4 Oh, no. Instead of bishop e5, fe 4 Ah, fe4, yeah. Yeah, fe4, I, I think you could uh, maybe play knight 2. Uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, So bishop g5, black is going to play just rook d4 
and uh, or just bishop e5 bishop e5 also yeah bishop e5 of course he is uh, is winning so i have to play knight d7 he takes d3 yeah and um, how do i defend this pawn probably by playing rook to yeah rook to e1 but then you get just bishop c8 or anything yes so um, maybe i can start with bishop g uh, bishop g5 yeah oh. Uh -huh. okay bishop g5 uh, rook e8 and rook to e1 the idea i'm not sure still what's the idea like let's say i go uh, okay bishop c8 is not a threat because you just take king uh, d3 and uh, i can't really take on d7 um, on the other hand maybe rook c8 rook c6 is an idea rook c8 and uh, rook to aha if rook e3 then c4 pawn is hanging after uh, like let me just show it um but uh, i can't uh, defend the pawn on e6 i mean if i can have rook e4 rook c1 it would be nice but um so let me try rook e4 rook to e4 then bishop b7 is the problem and uh, yeah this this looks quite complicated complicated but okay it's probably easier for black to play so f, instead of uh, bishop e5 f takes e4 yeah and e7 just look decent uh okay it's going uh, okay so f takes e4 e7 just rook d6 rook d6 mhm mm yeah seems like uh, black is doing all right here so how could white improve here after f5 i mean i know some of this kind of uh, f5 jumps in grund like when the king is on d2 but uh, not sure if if it's working here and how we d takes f5 e takes f5 i wanted to try uh, e takes d5 uh, c takes d5 i believe Uh, you know, yeah c takes d5 bishop d3 king, king d3 yeah. um now i have two choice i mean g takes f5 is one and uh, knight to e5 but probably g takes f5 is safer because after knight takes knight e5 um maybe it's possible too <laughs> Maybe I can just take on e5 and take on g6. Yeah, yeah, probably this is uh, this is good for good for white. So g takes f5. Yeah, just uh, to to just go knight f6 uh, and I don't know have some knight e4 or something. Of course, white. Uh, I I still like white's position, uh, but uh, it's possible for uh, for for him to play like this. I I believe. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, f5 is uh, interesting, and after knight f6, uh, king to e2, rook e8. So he now he just switched the entire thing to e file. So mm -hmm. he expects you you are going to take uh, if if uh, with the e pawn. So he just switched everything to e file, and uh, king f1. This is nice. Uh, so you have nice control on b5 and nice center here. e takes d5 of course c takes d5 is just mistake after bishop d3 king d uh, rook d3 and uh, knight takes e4 so e takes d5 and bishop c8 this is a really uh, strange move i mean uh maybe it was necessary for him to bring this bishop uh, into play uh, well, 
could he play some move like uh, uh, was it possible to play some knight g4 or or actually it's not so easy to suggest a move <laughs> and how is the position after knight g4 bishop f4 knight e5 knight e5 uh this uh, this is worse for black uh simply uh, white white is going to get a5 um like let's say for example knight takes e5 bishop takes e5 it's possible to keep the bishop but uh, let's just see something simple with a5 and uh, the problem is uh, a6 bishop and probably he is going to move the bishop somewhere uh, to to a c8 probably or i i don't know how to uh, play because uh, white is going to get his rook to a a1 a3 or you know bring the other rook to a1 or even uh, threaten uh, play rook b1 to force um, force black to take the a5 pawn uh, so i would say this is quite unpleasant unless black has some kind of clear way of playing b5 and some like for example if uh, rook d8 um you know something like this happens but okay obviously i see that b5 is the threat and uh, you have um, some, i mean you have many moves to uh, move the, uh, stop this b5 and even there i think there was f4 um but okay that's i, I mean like after rook a1 that b5 yeah but i i stopped uh, seeing because it, this is all unnecessary you know to allow mm -hmm. to have c4 or whatever so anyway so i think this is uh, this is slightly um, better for slightly better for white here and uh, maybe he can uh, wait um, another move Uh, before playing knight e5 but it really doesn't matter you can just go h3 and get get into this position so maybe that's why um, black played uh, bishop c8 here after e takes d5 um, i don't know if he was threatening to um, play bishop d7 and attack on a4 or uh, just get the bishop to g4 i don't know really um, and here uh, rook e1 uh so they could have played h3 yeah i i i also thought that uh, you wanted to play h3 um but did something bother you or you just thought uh, bishop g4 is not really a threat i actually don't remember but probably i thought bishop g4 is a threat bishop g4 all right uh so h3 i i guess uh, something like knight g4 uh, could be a knight e4 could be an an idea of course uh, uh, i i am not entirely sure if he can really go to c3 and take a4 and uh, you know do all these things but on the other hand also knight g3 and uh, knight f5 could be an idea although i still don't know what what the knight is doing on f5 um but uh, i would say knight e4 uh, looks logical after uh, h3 also black might get to play bishop f Yes, yes, yes. Bishop f5 uh, will bishop f5 knight d6 kind of things are possible here. Um, so rook e1 is nice. Uh, I would uh, I think uh, you are discouraging uh, this knight e4 option here. Bishop g4 uh, knight d2. Um, so uh, okay, knight d2 is uh, all right, I guess. But is he really planning to take on f3? this this is uh, this was I, a bit of, uh, i like, thought so in the game damage. like let's say you you make a move like uh, a5 uh, so i guess i mean let's assume that he would take on f3 because he played the uh, bishop to g4 g takes f3 and uh, i i mean if he if he get gets his knight to d6 bishop to d4 okay he is nice but uh, here how is this position i don't know a, a takes b6 or something a takes b6 uh, something like d6 to have bishop e4 bishop c6 i mean it's still co uh, co quite complicated but 
So also F five is an idea for you. Yeah, F five is uh, F five is pretty annoying because this bishop uh, can't really get. So you played knight d two, which is uh, which is I think quite practical. And here he went bishop d seven, obviously um, threatening to take on a four. And uh, why didn't you play a five? Mm. Oh yeah, of course, knight g four, uh, bishop f four, and uh, b takes a five. And uh, oh no, I have knight b three here. Right? Maybe bishop d four instead of b takes. A5. Bishop d four first, so uh, threatening to take on f two. Um, so bishop. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to have the bishop on uh, g3 because sometimes this pawn can be dangerous. But okay, bishop g3. Um, Black can probably take on e1. Yeah, I mean, certainly uh, you can take on a5, uh, knight b3. Actually, you can play uh, rook e1 uh, because after rook e1, maybe you have okay. bishop c3. I'm not sh so sure. Mm. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite complex. So, what did you play after Bishop D seven, Bishop C two? Okay. So Bishop C two, Knight G four. Okay, we see the same uh, same position instead of, as in A five. So it's better to have the pawn on A four. You can play A five at any point, uh, any time. Bishop D four, Knight E four, defending the pawn on F two, Bishop F five. So bishop takes e4 and knight f2, f3. Maybe, uh, I mean, also f3, fg4 is uh, interesting, but uh, maybe you could play h3 Actually, here. The thing is, during the game, I totally forgot that I can take on g4. I was yeah. only bishop e4, bishop e4. Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, bishop e4, g4. I, I, just, I will just show to the audience. Bishop takes c2, rook, rook takes c2. This position is quite unpleasant, uh, I think, for black. Uh, I mean, bishop endgame is also unpleasant. So uh, just to show like king e1, um, rook takes, OK. Even this is, it could, it might as well be lost because bishop, uh, bishop to b8 and all these pawns are hanging. So uh, even with f3, probably you could have done the same in the game, right? So bishop takes e4. What happens after fg4? Because he's forced to take on c2. Mm -hmm. or you, are f you are not happy with f5 here, or maybe f5 here. Yeah, here maybe uh, he, uh, black could uh, play f5. But with the h pawn, it's much better. Mm -hmm. Um, so you went for bishop e4, um, g5. Wow. So now we need some time to calculate all the mess here. So first point is always calculate what happens after bishop takes g5. It loses because of knight h2. Knight h2. King it probably f doesn't lose, but gets what? better. It probably doesn't lose, but gets a bit ugly. Uh huh. Okay, so f5 is probably the idea. And mm. uh, rook, to, rook to h1, knight g4. So if f takes g4, rook e4, followed by rook g4. So it's unnecessary complications, definitely. So uh, you went for the simple uh, f takes g4. Uh, g takes f4. It would be so much nice to have this uh, g2 pawn uh, on f3. <laughs> so you have a nice bishop on e4. Uh, but OK, so bishop f5. So your idea is to get the bishop somewhere to c6. Uh, so you, you have nice control over both e8 and uh, a8 square. Mm -hmm. Bishop to e5. Ah, also, he, um, black wants to defend the, this yeah, d6, d7. d7. And you could not play d6 here because of. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Rook eight. Uh, I'll just show this uh, this one line. 
uh, you might think that you won the exchange, but uh, Black simply has king f8 here. So of course, bishop f5 now, you are definitely threatening to play d6 uh, and d7, right? Uh, so bishop e5, bishop to d7, I think it's good. Rook e, rook e7, bishop c6. Um, here I have a question. Can you play just rook c2? Because I think after rook d7, rook e5 could be it quite unpleasant be. for uh, for black. And uh, if not, what is his idea? Because if you play you bishop d6, bishop two. Oh, do you want to like provoke f6 and get the bishop to e6? Yes, exactly? if you play if you play f6, then I will just keep the bishop on uh, e6. Yeah, and then I will slowly improve. Uh, even sometimes g5 is possible with the bishop on e5. Um, but what I, um, I mean, of course, it's not a big difference if you just play bishop to d6. Most likely I have to take uh, bishop to uh, bishop d8. And uh, my point is just I save like half a tempo. It's not like uh, it changes a lot from the game because in the game you played bishop c6, rook to d8, uh, rook c2, and uh, pretty much we have same position like this, e5. Um, so when, when probably you uh, understood that you are reaching such a position after he played g5. Um, uh, and uh, I personally like white's position. Probably anyone would like white. Anyone would take white white uh, here because uh, simply um, bishop on c6, pawn on d5. Um, white has much more space here. Did you think you could? Uh, you have a great chance to win this game, or it's just uh, uh, equalish? But you will try to win here. Yeah, I thought practically there are like maybe 50% chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I had a similar endgame against uh, Linear Dominguez from uh, uh, Waikanze. Uh, so I had also a structure like he had the uh, black spawn on e5. I had the white, uh, white spawn was on e4. And uh, he even had f4 pawn on g6, I had um, uh, g4 pawn on f2. So it's yeah, just, yes. yeah, it's just the same, you know, uh, I have a bishop on d3, rook on somewhere, you know, slowly I won the game. So it reminds me of uh, that game. Yeah, I think uh, I actually saw the game. What? I actually saw the game. So I'm not yeah, sure. yeah, I, slowly I won. It took a lot of time, but uh, eventually I won. But here, of course, it's much better, uh, I mean, what you got, because uh, obviously you are going to get rook to a7 or um, king to f3 or whatever. So bishop d6. Okay. So a takes b6. Uh, my obvious question is, uh, I wouldn't ask if you consider a6 move, but uh, uh, what happens uh, with a6? Did you think that you cannot progress mm -hmm. or like? Yeah, I did consider that, but I I thought I cannot make any real progress on the e5. Okay. Because what I'm uh, what I'm what I'm seeing here is that if let's say you have the pawn on a6, if you get rook to c2, I'm going to draw a lot of arrows. Please forgive me for that but I have to. So oh. even, even if uh, black exchange uh, the rook by somehow, I mean, it's not that easy to do it, but even if black exchange this, the rook, then white's king uh, would enter. And uh, there might be some kind of miracle uh, draw in this such a thing, but uh, um, a6 is also interesting. I mean, by no means AB6 is a mistake or something, but uh, it, yeah, it totally overlooked the king even even. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, obviously, I cannot really uh, enter with the king anywhere uh, on the king side uh, because black is uh, going to have the king on G7, uh, rook probably on C8, D8, and uh, black is just going to wait 
and uh, see what is the um, how white is going to progress in this position so i was just thinking i mean i don't know maybe i, I am missing some something very simple here uh, with the king uh, march here uh, but at least it was interesting so i wanted to mention yeah so you took 8x b6 uh, 8x b6 uh, rook uh, rook to a2 uh, king g7 and rook a7 and king f6 uh, is it of any help if you play rook a6 uh, to make uh, black play either rook b8 or bishop c7 because then maybe uh, you can get rook d7 so for example rook a6 uh, you would probably play rook b8 right yeah and uh, now rook to a7 king f6 and uh, so let's say something like rook d7 because uh, with uh, with rook on d8, of course, uh, we don't get this option. Uh, yeah, but also I can play rook b7 and provoke rook b8. Ah, that's what happened in the game, yeah? Something same. Ah, you could have done the same, actually. You're right. You could, you could have just played rook b7, rook b8, and rook b7. This I mean, is good chance, right? After bishop, uh, bishop e5 h4 to have some g5 check probably h6 and uh, i can just bring the king king to e2 this is quite unpleasant for black it's hard to move it's hard to move how, how does he move actually Maybe some rook g8. Yeah, he he of course uh, needs to wait. So king f3. Probably wait wait somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe rook c8 b8. Okay, something like this. Uh, it is also true how how white is going to progress here, right? How is king? Uh, so let's say g5 takes and h5 i'm not sure what i'm doing is good because maybe he has g4 and some kind of uh, counter chance here uh, but this this seems a pretty good chance for you i think because after d6 black has uh, king e6 yeah this is the problem black gets rook g8 I was scared of rook e, rook to e8. Mm -hmm. and you, look f7. Ah, but king and g5. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Let me show this. So rook f7, king f7, bishop e8. Okay, king e8, king e5 is lost. But uh, if black goes here and uh, he loses the piece. Mm -hmm. So nice. Yeah, king e4 and uh, g5 is just winning. So let's say rook g8. You have some d6 here, or d6 might even d6 king e8, king e6. Ah, okay, I think uh, it's it's possible to move the bishop and then get d6. So, um, uh, how how to do this? Uh, just one. Move. So something like uh, um, because with the bishop on c6, like uh, the problem with bishop on c6 is that king e6. Uh, like if I if white plays d6 here, king e6, rook e7, king d6, and this bishop on c6 is hanging. So if the bishop is on b5 or a4, then uh, just rook e5 wins. Hmm. So, but this is a nice uh, nice chance. But I think you had similar thing in the game, yeah. King e2, h6, h4. Yeah, we get this bishop e5, king 
king f3, bishop d6, king e4. Oh, we have same, same position. Okay, so bishop d7, rook d8. Ah, of course, bishop f5 uh, uh, is not possible because of rook e8 check. I mean, it's possible, but why to give this? And uh, bishop b5. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was also thinking. So after rook move like rook g8, white has rook d7, bishop e5, and now d6. Yeah. Yeah. Also, now king e6, of know. course, you have rook e7. Also, is rook b7 an option instead of b6? Uh, oh, yes, of course. And maybe rook f2. Ah, you just want to take this, yeah? Yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is really good. This is winning, I think. Yeah, it should. It should somehow win. I'm, I mean, now I'm not sure, but probably it is winning somehow. Um, this was possible even uh, in other position, right? When the bishop was on uh, e5 and rook was on b8 at some point. Yeah, but there the rook was on d7. Right? Yeah. But he didn't go for rook g8. That is very interesting. Like uh, he repeated once and then he went rook c8. Yeah. And then you went g5. Probably g5 is not good, yeah? Yeah, yeah probably. Mm -hmm. I think I thought the king would be cut too. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And then this move. Yeah, probably if you were doing this, it, it was better to do when the rook was on uh, g8. So, ah no, rook g8 you can't do because of rook g5. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah now white is, uh, I mean, black, black is uh, fine because of this uh, rook on c7, rook to e7, and rook e3, and all kinds of things. And bishop cannot really defend uh, g2 pawn and so on. And then uh, king g6. Bishop to e, e8, king g7, rook g5, king f8, rook g6, rook e7, king f5, rook, f, rook g5, king g4, king e7, bishop b5, rook e3, king f5, and draw. Okay, of course. Uh, here already black is uh, out of uh, danger, I, uh, I feel. Probably it was going to be rook e5 checking g4, uh, rook e3 uh, repetition. Yeah. So very interesting game. Uh, and uh, yeah, some uh, some choices like h3, hg4 was an option. And uh, also even in the end game, you had pretty good chances of uh, winning uh, this game. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's move uh, to the next game. Uh, which is uh, uh, which is against uh, uh, K K K guy. Uh, is he from Iran or Moscow? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So once again, uh, you started uh, with knight f3. So this time it's uh, Catalan and uh, closed Catalan. So. He didn't go for you, uh, so your opponent was probably playing bishop before check. If you had played uh, d4, uh, yeah, so that's why uh, delaying d4 is good uh, against bishop before check. Queen to c2, b6, rook d1, bishop a6, and knight e5. So knight bt2 uh, is uh, another option yeah. here. I think after bishop a6, I actually didn't know much. There is what? No, I think after bishop a6, I didn't know much. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Usually the this position, uh, white's bishop is on d2. So uh, white, uh, white uh, goes for b3, knight c3, and sacrifice this pawn. There are some ideas like that. Um, but knight e5 uh, is also pretty interesting. Knight f knight to knight f d seven c takes d five c takes d five and e four. I think this is all theory. 
uh, uh, there should be some games here. Knight f6, because after knight takes e5, I think this is probably how it goes. e takes d5. Um, because after e takes d5, d takes e5, white has nice uh, advantage because knight uh, c3 will come. I mean, probably it's, it's very bad for very bad for black here, not just a nice advantage. So knight, knight, knight e5 is met uh, uh, with knight e takes d5. And I think knight d3. There is even ideas like this. Uh, not at all uh, so easy, I mean, to get knight to d5. Uh, compensation, but probably black is uh, doing OK here. Um, but uh, after knight d3, you can play d6. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's queen d6 or bishop d6. So I remember something like this. Um, it's a um, long line, but uh, it's possible uh, to play and like what this. What is the evaluation at the end? What? What is the evaluation at the end? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's uh, unclear or uh, maybe white is a uh, tiny bit better, but nothing... Uh, nothing because you know still white pieces are not developed mm -hmm. and the knight on d3 is uh, is okay so anyway mm -hmm. your opponent went knight f6 uh, knight c3 um, bishop b7 of course knight e4 is just a mistake here after knight takes e4 knight takes e4 d takes e4 bishop e4 rook um, and okay many things are hanging here so bishop b7 uh, bishop g5 um, pretty logical and now knight e4. Um, so after a move like knight d7, you probably wanted to play knight to knight d7. Knight takes this. Okay, this is losing a pawn, but let I, I just want to show this uh, thing like uh, knight goes to e8 or something. This is really bad for um, black because of the bishop on uh, b7. Um, so he went for knight e4, knight e4, and uh, d4 yeah, is surprisingly I bad, yeah? Yeah, d4, I think just bishop e4. Bishop e4, bishop e4, queen e4, and uh, he cannot defend the rook on a8 because after knight a6, knight c6, this is the point. I, I guess this is the point, yeah? yeah. So um, f6. <laughs> So I was mainly considering bishop takes g5. Yeah, what happens to bishop g5 exactly? I think I wanted something like knight g5 and queen c3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So bishop a6. And rook c1. Yeah, black is, uh, black is pawn up, but um, his pieces are not coming into play. And uh, when black moves the bishop on a6, always uh, queen b7, mm -hmm. queen b7 is a threat. Um, so this is why bishop g5 is uh, not good for black. So uh, he went for f6. And uh, look at this position, <laughs> three pieces at a time uh, are hanging here. So uh, what are the moves possible for white uh, in this position? I mean. Probably not many, maybe knight to c3. Um, or um, bishop f4 was played in the game. I think bishop f4 is uh, quite nice. Uh, the idea is after f takes e5, d takes e5, black can't capture d takes e4 because of rook d8. And otherwise, white is going to occupy uh, you know, knight d6. Yeah. Knight, also, knight, nice, nice, nice position, yeah. So bishop f4, d takes e4, bishop uh, takes e4, and uh, bishop takes e4 is necessary. Otherwise, uh, bishop h7 and uh, knight g6 and all kinds of threats are there. So bishop e4, bishop e4, queen takes e4, and queen d5. Is it four? Yeah, it is forced. If uh, knight to a6, uh, knight c6 and maybe just rook c1 or rook e1. Uh, rook e1 or rook ac1? Maybe anything. 
yeah of course anything is good i mean even d5 is pretty good probably uh, yeah this is just uh, bad for black because of this pawn on e6 and uh, knight on a6 is not coming into play so queen takes queen d5 queen takes d5 he takes d5 and knight g4 nicely bringing the knight to e3 uh, to attack the pawn on d5 knight c6 yeah, so here I knew I had some advantage, but I slowly slowed it. Yeah, rook c1, you must be having a great advantage here, no? Because uh, knight, e th knight to e3, rook fd8, and rook c2. How is he going to defend this pawn on d5? Yeah, he went something like bishop f8 and knight. Yeah, one. so I, I will just show that if uh, any time black plays uh, g5, knight to f5, g takes f4 and rook c6, and uh, after a move like bishop f8 or something, of course, you can move the bishop, but rook dc1 is uh, just just very, uh, it's probably winning in <laughs> in. Mm -hmm in clear terms. So bishop to f8, rook d c1, knight d4 is not possible because of rook c8, knight e7, rook takes c8, knight c8, if rook takes c8, uh, rook takes c8, knight c8, knight d5, white is just pawn up. So knight c8, uh, rook c7, g5. What else? Otherwise, uh, you would just go g4, h4, h5, and uh, this knight on c8 can't move uh, anytime soon. Knight g4. I guess you saw the, uh, the entire uh, sequence of moves when you uh, went for this line because g5, you are losing a piece and you are not going to play just like that. So knight g4 is a very important move as after g takes f4, knight f6, king h8, rook h7 is checkmate. So bishop e7 and uh, bishop d2. Uh, is it say, uh, can you give, okay, I, I'm not sure, but I like this knight h6 check somehow, not to allow the king to come to e6 or g6. Um, because now if king g7, I can play knight f5, king f7 or f8 i don't know maybe okay king f7 and then you go bishop to d2 mm. or yeah it's it's uh, it's yeah this looks this looks very good right for uh, white i mean just you have g4 h3 and you can do whatever you want <laughs> nothing is moving and uh, also you are threatening to take on e7 and uh, well that is one, but also bishop b4 and rook a7. So this should be really good for uh, for white here. Maybe bishop d2, we, we are going to get the same thing. So bishop d2, king f7. Oh, yes, that's, that is the problem. Because after knight h6, he can just play king g6. Mm. Uh -huh, which was not possible uh, with uh, knight h6, uh, 27th move. So it's it's slight, uh, a big improvement uh, uh, in terms also of... Also, it brings the tempo. Yeah, yeah, uh, important tempo indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. And how how is this position? If you go, if uh, black plays king g6, knight uh, e7, knight takes e7, maybe bishop g5, just to keep it simple. I, maybe this is also uh, winning, but um, I, I mean, probably it's winning also. But uh, I would say just to take on uh, bishop, bishop g5. No, no, no. Yeah, knight f5 and uh, say, let's say something like uh, bishop. Okay, bishop e3, rook c3, I can play if I want to be too, <laughs> too scared. <laughs> Or, I mean, after rook, e, rook e8, I can come back, defend everything. Then I can go king, king g2, king f3. You have so much time, and then you can go back again to attack all these pawns. You have c file, and uh, it's possible. But yeah. also, rook e... Huh? It's a healthy pawn, actually. Uh, which one? Yeah, it's a, it's a healthy pawn, yes, yes. 
and uh, yeah bishop d2 uh, king f7 and uh, knight to e3 and then he got uh, king b6 so knight f5 is not possible g4 h5 um yeah but also he's kind of fine here so if let's say you play h3 what happens because i can still get the knight to f5 and maybe i can keep some pressure but they can go bishop d3 yeah or that. i think uh, that should be enough for him to hold something like bishop f4 maybe at some point yeah so or if knight. i go 97 yeah 97 is yeah just equalizing immediately so you just went uh, g takes f5 rook h8 f4 uh, g takes f4 knight g2 okay it's a nice trick but <laughs> your opponent will see it so bishop d6 rook c3 and uh, knight e7 is now bishop f4 um yeah game is drawn Pro uh, probably he just takes on h5 and uh, it should be draw somehow yeah interesting game but one uh, more order changed the entire uh, result because i think after knight h6 knight f5 you have very good chance to win yeah, yeah. so we have one more game uh, this is quite um, this is the crazy game <laughs> this is this is the crazy game <laughs> so we must have one crazy game and uh, here um you played again you uh, so you are black so let me flip the board uh, i think this is it so you have uh, you have black pieces and um uh, like did you prepare something special for uh, this game or you already have uh, um yeah usually like to get this e6 d5 c6 okay so you were just ready for this kind of setup and uh, i just checked uh, like okay this is a um, nice way of playing uh, to avoid any kind of theoretical uh, discussions and so on that is how it was a couple of years ago but since then there so many games have been played in this variation it's like really uh, an important variation uh, nowadays uh, so c takes d5 e takes d5 bishop uh, b5 Uh, i see this is a rare move actually uh, normally people are playing bishop d6 d4 c takes d4 and uh, things like that or and remember there is some game where black himself goes d4 at some point yes 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 i think it was anish uh, anish ding anish versus ding probably um anyway so bishop g4 i saw uh, not many games were played uh, in this particular thing but it looks very interesting actually so h3 bishop h5 and uh, g4 bishop g bishop g6 knight e5 so your opponent is probably a very aggressive player as i understand yeah. and actually he usually plays one e4 okay okay so he's not uh, he 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 he's is this is not his main weapon uh, from white side so he's usually one e4 player okay so queen c7 defending the knight uh, bishop c6 b takes c6 and uh, d3 i really like this move d4 it's such a nice move uh, so here i mean bishop d6 looks uh, uh, i don't know i mean, probably it's also fine if you play bishop d6 but maybe you you did not like uh, the move f4 or yeah even then i think i will have to play d4 so yeah at some point you have to play d4 uh, to close the diagonal for this uh, this bishop at the same time opening the center since he played g4 uh, it's hard for this king i mean is he going to castle the queen side or king side it's it's a big uh, big discussion so d4 is uh, i like this move um, i mean black is sacrificing a pawn uh, if uh, if uh, white decides to take um, but here there are several moves i, I mean white, black can simply give a check go short castle but i think long castle uh, is much more forcing because uh you get everything with tempos like uh, so let me make some moves um 
long castle bishop to b2 maybe rook h e8 or something and uh, if knight moves then there is rook e1 check <laughs> so um i don't know how he's going to defend because if knight goes to f3 d3 pawn is hanging so that's the point of uh, this sacrifice of course uh, white is not going to take knight takes g6 maybe queen f3 uh, is an option instead of knight here queen f3 right yeah and uh, what were you intending to play here knight d5 or sacrifice anyway so just bishop d6 i think bishop d6 not bishop sure. because after queen c6 knight i mean queen c6 knight c6 you can go king to d7 maybe uh, he has to play knight uh, a5 oh wait a minute can you play a5 here or it's useless no it's not not worth it no king d7 is okay knight a5 and uh, it's with two bishops it's uh, no way that uh, yeah just bishop d3 is also quite good um later on you can play rook h8 or rook a8 uh, i can see there are so many options for black here you know to get knight to d5 knight b4 looks very tempting here uh, d takes e3 f takes e3 some knight d5 or i don't know so this is too much the the, the uh, black has uh, several options and, and that this then knight g6 head g6 and uh, okay so here knight g6 eight g6 and what e takes d4 maybe knight d2 yeah aha uh -huh. you, you uh, okay uh, white is planning to uh, castle uh, queen side so let's say if i play short castle uh do you want to castle long it's it can be dangerous yeah. maybe on this side is better <laughs> and how is black supposed to play here yeah if if he goes uh, long castle you just go a5 a4 and uh, have the knight oops that's wrong one knight to d5 and knight to b4 and uh, anyway a5 a4 is good uh, because that destabilizes this whole setup of uh, white here and uh, his knight will be stuck on d2 in order to protect the b3 pawn here uh, also one thing is here here knight g6 sometimes maybe sometimes fg6 can be quite nice because uh, then only um, black is attacking with the rook on f8 and rook on e8 and uh, it's not clear if the king is i mean for example let's say this so knight d2 i'm going to castle short and uh, this looks very interesting yeah now uh, where is this queen going that is my first question and uh, the the attack is pretty fast because i get knight to d5 rook a8 and e3 is uh, quite um, you know it's hard to protect this e3 pawn so i mean knight g6 fg6 also is something which we should consider you know in such positions because uh, it uh, attack becomes quite difficult for white uh, in this structure rather than the pawn on uh, uh, f7 i mean h7 is better in such things so anyway he uh, he went for knight, uh, knight g6 uh, h takes g6 and e4 understandable because if you if he gives you chance to take on e3 and queen g3 probably the game is over so he thought okay let me keep the game uh, you know a bit close and uh, uh, to to continue further so queen f4 a uh, nice move uh, of course many uh, many threats like knight uh, g4 is uh, one dangerous but there is also queen g4 mm -hmm. which is possible because after h takes g4 rook h1 rook d1 is uh, there so king e2 i, I will just uh, what i think that's what he meant he probably wanted bishop c1 here but yeah is... yeah i that's what i wanted to show to the audience so bishop c1 would be nice but uh, queen g4 uh, is what uh, uh, white missed here as after h takes g4 rook h1 king e2 rook d1 king d1 knight g4 
maybe this is still not so bad as what he got in the game because what he uh, the position which he had in the game looks extremely dangerous i mean this is also really bad you can just play a5 a4 or simply bring the bishop to d6 and rook to h8 should be winning um so your opponent went king to e2 knight knight takes e4 of course uh, after um, uh, i mean d takes e4 is necessary i don't see any other move d takes e4 queen takes e4 and king d2 is forced because after king f1 uh, queen takes oops, queen h1 so uh, king d2 and how far did you see <laughs> like my first question after did you see this after e4 or uh... yeah actually i was very surprised that he played e4 and i took some time and calculated until like a few more okay so you you uh, you, you saw queen e4 king d2 and then uh, bishop yes. e7 like like happened in the game yes of course bishop g5 is a huge threat and queen e1 probably is the only move here or king c1 maybe but it looks like yeah it. king c1 okay so king c1 bishop g5 and castle knight knight d2 and uh, bishop no maybe just castle long just castle which side long long okay i like black's position here so but still i'm going to play a few more moves just to see how bad white's position is so rook to e1 uh, possibly queen d3 i i i mean it's hard to move the i mean somehow remove the pieces so queen c2 already black has three pawns right yeah and possibly uh, black is going to get some more pawns uh, after few moves and still the white cannot uh, come out of this uh, dangerous pin here it's super nice so king c1 uh, is maybe interesting but still i like black's position there so queen e1 uh, queen f4 here uh, bishop g5 doesn't help because after king d1 uh, black can't move the queen here so queen f4 check uh oh but uh but queen maybe queen f3 because now i can either play king f8 or um maybe even short castle <laughs> to have bishop g5 or bishop d6 bishop f4 uh, ideas and you uh, why uh, cannot play queen e2 here because of h1 is hanging so let's say knight a3 maybe here yeah. so something like knight a3 um what can i do so i will first try king f8 uh, if it doesn't work i am going to play short castle but king f8 and uh, bishop g5 yeah. is coming now so uh, it looks dangerous yeah very dangerous yeah because queen e2 uh, black has bishop g5 and the king d1 queen h1 check so i don't know what is the best move here uh, for the white or is it already worse for him um, i mean to me even queen f4 looks good <laughs> for black but uh, queen f3 it stops this uh, queen uh, e2 or any kinds of things and also king c2 is not possible after queen f3 because some check will come yeah so king c2 long castle d3 is nothing probably right you will just take it okay. long castle just king c2 mm. it looks like mate yeah of course uh, i need uh, so let's say queen uh queen f3 
So idea is to have bishop uh, to g5 mm -hmm. and uh, queen d3. Knight d2 or what? No. And knight d2, queen d3, bishop d3. Yeah. Maybe bishop c3. Bishop e ah, e bishop e5. Yeah, maybe. This uh, this looks super scary, but uh, yeah, maybe this is the way uh, to play. Uh, but black should be. This looks like completely lost, no? Bishop f6 or something, but maybe you have, no, we need to check. I, I mean, as long as this rook on h1 is hanging, this queen is stuck and uh, it's hard to move. So I don't know. I mean, to me, it looks interesting, but okay, it's of course, when you are playing, it's a different story. <laughs> you don't want to give material. So, uh, and that to pawn like d3, obviously. Uh, so, uh, uh, Long Castle. And uh, here, uh, knight, d, knight to d2. And uh, queen e7 is lost because of or d3. just rook h8, huh? Oh, d3 wins. d3 is. Uh, yeah, d3 is winning, of course. Yeah, Everything is hanging. Queen, queen here. So knight, d, knight to d2, uh, bishop f6. Uh, I probably, uh, I mean, I still like d3 not to let him bring this rook. Um, so. And after king b1? Where? King B1. Yeah, and now something like uh, Bishop to G5. Ah, maybe now you have Queen to E3. Oh, this is just nice thing. Of course, it's not going to happen, but I I will just show this Queen G4 move. It's not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the idea is after H takes uh, G4, Rook H3. Uh, bishop c1, bishop e3. Black is mostly winning here because of uh, the pawns. Um, so this is also quite interesting for you, like bishop to f6 or um, what else can you play here? It's just so many interesting options. Yeah. And uh, bishop f6, king b1. Ah, anyway, he played king b1. Because after rook d1, you just have rook h8, queen f1, and d3. And this is lost because after bishop king b1, bishop to bishop takes b2, king b2, rook e2, king c1. Yeah, yeah, somehow it's winning, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I'm probably the simplest is to get queen to d4, queen uh, c3, queen c2. It's winning. So king b1, rook d8, and not rook h8. Yeah, I, I thought that the queen h8 would be putting some pressure on h2. Ah, on the h file. OK, so rook d8. Because I, I, I mean, sometimes d3 would be quite handy. And with the rook on d8, obviously, it's much simpler. Uh, anyway, so queen c1, king to d7. Wow. Oh, you are just waiting. Mm. It's basically yeah. like a pass. <laughs> Why not to go rook, D, rook to e2? Maybe there is some queen c5. Queen c5. So if rook takes d2, let's calculate queen c6. Uh, Okay, this is a perpetual, right? And uh, I it's cannot me. defend the pawn on c6. Uh, king b7. 
and rook c1. Yeah. But I have rook c8. Queen b4, king a8. This is also mess. Mm -hmm. I I, uh, I will just show one uh, defense, but it's not it's not relevant because after d takes c3, queen f4. But of course, you can play g5. You can play anything, queen f2 or whatever. Uh, this should be winning, no? After rook rook e2, is there any defense for white after queen c5, uh, king b7? Maybe we should take the help of engine. And what if look d1, for example? Which move? Look d1. Okay. So the idea is after rook d2, queen b4 check and queen takes d2. Um, so let's bring back, bring some rook where? Yeah, I would like to play king a8, but this c6 pawn is hanging. So let me, um, what's your next move actually? Maybe white wants to go like a4, king a8. Okay, that's good. So I, I, I know your idea. So I'm going to play king a8 next. Okay, yeah. let's say this is this is quite promising for you. Maybe it's not winning yet. Like uh, as I initially, you know, I thought it's completely winning. Maybe it's not winning, but I like uh, Black's attack here. And uh, yeah, some queen f2 or, you know, you, you still continue the attack with king a. But king. now white can go a4, knight c4, king a2. Ah, right. Is this working? So queen e4 check, king a2, d3, rook b1. So I'm just one move uh, slower here. In, I mean, if I had my king on a8, I can take rook d2, yeah? Yeah. OK. So anyway, so you thought about all these things and you just avoided any kind of perpetual and went king d7. So we have I didn't go to b7. Aha. Uh -huh. So the because of this queen b4 check. Oh, probably. Yeah. So rook e2 and queen c5. Wow. So what is the problem after rook d2? That's what you played. Queen a7 check. King e6, rook e1 check. This all this looks forced. Bishop e5. Oh, bishop c1. Uh -huh. Did you miss this move or? I actually think I saw this and I thought rook d1 is winning. Okay. Rook d1 is uh, probably necessary, no? Otherwise, uh, some kind of Anyway, I mean, bishop d2, queen takes d2, rook e5, some queen e7 check can mm. happen, but uh, rook d1, rook king c2. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> uh, so if I capture this, queen e4 check, uh, king b2, d3 and bishop uh, Huh? Sorry? d3 and bishop c3. d3 and uh, bishop c3. Yeah, they feel just win. Uh, so I will just show them the mate after queen b7, uh, rook a8 check, queen a8, and queen b4 checkmate. So that's the point uh, of <laughs> rook d1. <laughs> so you obviously saw everything uh, before playing rook d1, or maybe even when you started this whole thing. Yeah, that's uh, so that's why king c2 is necessary. That's crazy. Yeah, this, yeah. So he's you sacrifice the rook and uh, he plays king c2. Okay. And now what's the move? So if rook, uh, 
everything is hanging d3 is just lost for black because king uh, d1 queen f3 and king d2 and uh, bishop cannot do anything because of the pin so he went queen f2 check forcing him to take the rook queen f3 it's necessary king c2 and queen c3 so this is important ah oh, but you could also give queen f2 check right yeah exactly maybe he will he would have fall for this <laughs> yeah queen c3 is also draw after queen f3 and uh, after rook uh, e2 uh, d3 probably that's your idea right d3 and mm -hmm. uh, is winning so king to c2 queen c3 king d1 and uh, queen f3 uh guys this is really uh, i mean i know the, 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 like white went wrong uh, in the early in the game but uh, it was uh, quite complicated uh, you know uh, after 94 and uh, you know all this sacrifice but uh, quite very interesting game even though it was a draw uh, but lot of things to calculate and uh, your opponent also you know found lot of defenses when, defense when uh, it was necessary like uh, i'm like all this queen c5 queen a7 um, and bishop c1 uh, so pretty nice game and uh, so this is um, all the all three games are quite different from each other i must say uh, the first two were uh, end games but uh, obviously the the second game i was really impressed that one uh, uh, one move like uh, you know move order uh changes the entire uh, thing when you give knight h6 check first and uh, uh, later and uh, first game uh, i it reminded me of my game against uh, linear dominguez so uh, quite a nice memory for me to win that game so this the third game of course uh, quite um, quite complex and uh, of course uh, black must be uh, having uh, i wouldn't say a simple way to win the game but uh, some chances uh, must be there uh, somewhere in the middle game uh, so that's it for today uh, but since we were talking uh, um, uh, all about the game and so on i couldn't really uh, read the chat or uh, interact with any of them uh, so if you don't mind we can just take some questions uh, from the chat um, mm -hmm. are you fine so yes. i can uh, just ask you if uh, any of you uh, have some kind of uh, questions for me or uh, arjun just uh, let us know uh, and uh, we will try to answer it so um you can ask uh, on uh, in the chat guys uh, regarding these three games or uh, anything in uh, particular um yeah the, uh, the, someone asked uh, what rating uh, is yours i think it's uh, what is your rating 2559 2559 okay so the 2559 is uh, arjun's rating and uh, uh, i don't know if they have any questions uh so nicolas uh, yenet is asking uh, do you have any otb tournament schedule um so i guess this is for both uh, i do not know uh, anything soon but uh, hopefully we will get chance to play after all uh, everyone wants to you know uh, play over the board i don't know about you arjun but uh, i for uh, sure want to play touch the pieces and play over the board Yeah, same with me it's been almost a year since i yeah i can understand it's really and uh, um uh what do you think about the opera euro uh, rapid finals sir uh, bharatan uh, on twitch is asking this um uh, for me it was uh, 
uh, great final and i was also commenting on the last day did you see the sorry i was watching the comment yeah 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 so it for, it was a thrilling uh, uh, and great performance by the players um i want to say that it is uh, normal that uh, when you play so many rapid games and so many games that uh, players can get tired and make some mistakes but still uh, you have to give the credit um, they played really well and uh, that's my opinion um uh, okay so um which books uh, do i recommend for 1200 1400 i would say uh, solving some uh, studies tactics uh, help me a lot uh, it can be something very simple um, you can pick the easiest one it doesn't matter as long as they it, it it's about uh, chess it's it's good and uh, someone asks uh, also similar question con delis how often do you solve tactics puzzles how do you solve any other puzzles um, you can answer if yeah i i think i solve like once in a while once in a while okay but uh, do you uh, do you solve more puzzles or play blitz oh, i play more blitz uh mm huh -hmm. okay the... okay so that's uh, so play more blitz <laughs> that's my <laughs> youngster uh, and what about you um i play um i play blitz but i also solve um some studies sometimes i also like uh, uh, mate in twos and uh, not self mate or help mates but mate in twos or mate in threes uh and uh, some studies which uh, uh, helps uh, to get uh, to find the unusual moves quickly so uh what's the difference between 2500 and 2700 player <laughs> uh i don't know it's uh, it's it, it is quite difficult to generalize this but uh, i do believe that um, of course uh, um constant practice is one of the key things in order to improve in chess and uh, i think uh, there is no secret formula that only some players can be 27 or any such such thing you need to practice and uh, improve uh, with that and most importantly you need to enjoy while uh, practicing chess you know that's the most important thing um so someone asks uh, akash asks improving your openings versus perfecting end games which one do you focus on first okay <laughs> i think uh, <laughs> at my level it's uh, it's both are important of course uh, i cannot do just one part of this uh, and i guess it's the same for arjun as well i think uh, uh you have to improve openings as well as uh, improve in games um uh, uh yeah so there is a question you probably you, do you want to take it uh, is it difficult to improve in chess if you don't start playing from a young age i don't know when did you start playing uh, i started when i was around 8 8 okay so uh definitely not so when i started uh, when i was four and half or five years old so uh nowadays many kids are starting at four five it really doesn't matter when you start but uh, um how motivated and how you interested you are uh, on improving your chess and learning chess i think that's uh, that's all matters um and uh, how you are studying and uh, analyzing your games that's how i feel yeah someone asks uh, did you watch anish giris night of course <laughs> yes of course <laughs>
okay so i think uh, that's uh, that's all and uh, it was uh, nice nice games uh, which you selected and uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, you know uh, discussing Good about time. these games and uh, uh, thank you everyone uh, for watching and asking the questions and uh, um, uh, i hope uh, we will see uh, next time uh, i don't know when <laughs> Yeah. So all Thank the you. best, all the best for your uh, tournaments, Arjun. Thank you, and uh, same to you. Thank you.